Rada, good morning. How are you this morning? This is my maybe 19th or 20th take this morning. I'm not exaggerating. It's just not working out for me. I know I promised I would talk about relationships with you and, uh, and I sat down to do that. I found a really nice little bit in one of Paul's letter to the Thessalonians where he's talking to them about being kind and encouraging each other. And it's a lovely little passage, not least because actually the Thessalonian people were kind and encouraging to each other. And Paul is kind of saying to them, you know, well done, keep going. And I think that's a, a, a good message and a good lesson, not least because it's Paul being pleasant to people and being encouraging and gentle and kind in his own tone, setting a good example. And, I, you know, perhaps that's where we ought to leave it this morning. Should we pause there or do you really want to know the inner workings of my mind? Because the inner workings of my mind are that that's just what we preach, that's just what we say, but is it what we do? And I ask that because I've been so hugely upset about yet another example of how somebody has suffered at the hands of another person. On this occasion, it's been a young woman at the hands of a police officer. Um, although he hasn't been charged, uh, convicted, we know he has been charged with that offence. And I'm looking at this whole year that we've had, locked down or partially locked down, with much more time on our hands to scrutinise the news, and, you know, we're all watching the news because we want to find out what's going on with our lives in terms of what we can and can't do and the uh, illness and the death rate from the virus. But there's so much else that we're then listening to as well. And I'm thinking about the Black Lives Matters campaign that seems to have almost disappeared. And now we've got uh, this campaign about uh, women being safe to walk the streets uh, just walking home from doing something completely ordinary and I'm so deeply hugely frustrated by humanity's inability to be kind and decent and I know that we're only talking about this teeny tiny percentage because the bulk of us the majority of people are wonderful, good people. But if we don't start calling out bad behaviour, if we don't start putting our hands up and saying, do you know what, I'm not happy about this. If we don't start allowing ourselves to be one of those counted, one of the numbered people who are unhappy with the way things are, then we are complicit and we are colluding with that tiny percentage that are getting it wrong. There's a, a little phrase, isn't there, it's tribute, attributed to so many people and I'm not even going to try and sort that out, Google it. It is said that all, it requ all that is required for evil to happen is for good people to do nothing. And I think I've kind of got all caught up in that and I realise that I need to be more vocal about the things in the wider world that are upsetting me, it's not good enough to just look in our little corner and look after our little patch of people and our little patch of relationships. If we're quiet about the bigger picture, we collude with all that is wrong with it. And suddenly that nice little chat about relationships has blown up out of all proportion. And I'm here left saying we are all called to be activists and to be the loud voice, to protect the minority from the other minority. That feels like a huge responsibility, doesn't it? And I know sometimes we feel like we've only got enough energy to look after our little corner. And I think that's okay. But when you find yourself with a little reserve of energy, I'd like to encourage you to join me in trying to use that little bit of energy that's left to remember that when all is well in our lives, we have a responsibility to shout loudly for those for whom it is not. And I want my daughters to be safe to walk home at night, which means that we need to address the behaviour of those that make it unsafe. 
This isn't about women taking more care. This is about the people that attack women not attacking them. Please in there. But it's not, it's really hard. Will you join me in trying to be a little bit more vocal and a little bit more political with a small p about the rights and the honesty that is required in our culture so that we are standing up for those that need to be stood up for, putting blame in the right places and making sure that all our relationships are healthy ones. Yeah, it was about relationship in the end, wasn't it? And I still come back to Paul and what he said to the people of Thessalonica. Be kind and encourage each other, as I know you are already doing. Let's just do it a bit more vocally. And, uh, and I hope you have a good day and I hope this restlessness in my belly starts to feel a little better for having really, truly and honestly shared with you what's on my mind rather than saying what I think I should. Mm. Thank you for listening and I hope you have a good day. Lots of love and God bless. Bye bye.